City of stars, are they shining just for you? And now you might be thinking, Chris, why are you singing? You never sing on this channel. And you know what? You'd be right, because a friend of mine once told me, Chris, if you ever get a chance to sing, don't. But this pier is a very famous music spot. Ryan Gosling sang that song much better than I did right here in this pier in the movie La La Land. Also, the Lighthouse Cafe just down that way is the famous jazz bar in the movie. In this video, I'm going to show you those famous movie sites and more great attractions here in Hermosa Beach, joined with a great friend of mine who's a local of this neighborhood. So let's go ahead and take a look at Hermosa Beach, shall we? Hey fellow explorers, today I'm here with my good friend Jefferson Graham. We're out on the Hermosa Beach Pier and in this video we're going to show you around one of Los Angeles' smallest but most charming beach communities and you know what, it's not just going to be me talking, it's going to be Jeff telling you about this place. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see what we can see. And uh, so Jeff, tell me a little bit about this pier that we're walking First out here. First of all, we are on the great Hermosa Beach Pier where I feel like singing and dancing like Ryan Gosling in the movie La La Land, this is where he did City of Stars. Oh, very cool. Yeah, so a good chunk of that movie was done in Hermosa Beach. Hermosa Beach is the smallest of the LA beach cities, uh, but it, it's really known for Pier Plaza, which we'll get to in a minute. And yeah, tell me about location-wise, if I if I look this way, what are, what are we looking at off in the distance this Manhattan way? Manhattan Beach, Santa Monica, Venice, Marina del Rey, Malibu, would be right up there. And then we flip the other side. We're looking at Redondo Beach. You can see right on the other side of the break wall, that's Redondo Beach. And then Palos Verdes Peninsula is the, is the hill. And if we drove over the hill, we would get to San Pedro and Long Beach and then just continue down the coast all the way down to San Diego and Mexico. So I noticed that uh, nobody's surfing today. Uh, is it true that uh, the beaches are always warm in uh, <laughs> Southern California? It is not true. And we're actually shooting this in April, which should be way warmer. But for whatever reason, it's uh, we've got a freak cold spell. And th th they may have gone surfing this morning. Most of the surfing is, is in the morning. I have a friend who lives one block from the beach, and he lives there so he can surf every morning. That's impressive. Yeah. And uh, so it's just odd that it's, it's not warmer. But once we get the Pier Plaza, it will not be blowing as much as it is now will be because we'll get uh, some protection from the buildings. So how would you say the vibe of Hermosa Beach is different than the neighboring beaches Very simple. of Manhattan or Redondo? Okay. So Hermosa is a young person's party town. That's the reputation. That's what it's known for. It also is uh, considered, they had a, a big punk rock history here. Punk rock? Well. Punk rock at one time. But right now it's, uh, you, it's tons of bars on Pier Plaza that are open until late at night. And it is, it is known for a reveling place. The two times you may not want to be here if you don't like massive crowds would be 4th of July where it's wall to wall. Uh, it's very hard to, to even find an inch. And then the other one would be St. Patrick's Day where there are two Irish bars. St. Patrick's Day. That yeah. would not be the day that I would think would be one of the busiest down at the beach. Uh, well, at Pure Plaza. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, because, because of the Irish bars. Um, Fourth of July, they have something called the Iron Man, and on um, in the morning they will run and jog and bike, and then they will drink a six pack of beer. And the, the goal is to see who can go the longest without throwing up. Oh, and okay. They, and they build a giant uh, hole in the sand for them to all throw up in. <laughs> that, that sounds fantastic. Yeah, really wonderful. Uh, are there any hotels here on the beach? Is that there a hotel? Is, or... That is a hotel. And that would be that and the Sea Sprite right over there would be your two choices. Uh, um, otherwise, you would have to you can see the sign right now yep. for the Sea Sprite. That's it. And, uh, but they are right on the sand, or at least yeah, right across the yeah. boardwalk well, from the, the sand. Good news. The bad news is because of the bars, it could be it's loud and loud. And loud, and loud. Yeah. yeah. But it's, it's a great little uh, beach. Uh, they've got a nice pier here. Life garden. Great for dancing and singing, as, as I said. <laughs> Underneath, it's not as pretty as Manhattan Beach, but it's still wonderful. I, you know, I've lived here for over 25 years. Not in, in Manhattan Beach. I live in Manhattan just Beach. Just in the north. But it's, it's all the same. Yeah. You know, it's the same, same community. That's a wonderful community. It's a, it's, if we look out this way, it's a very wide, sandy beach. Yeah. And as, as Jeff said, really busy in the summer. 
But you know, some beaches in Southern California are so narrow that at like high tide, you don't get any sand. Uh, volleyball, are there a lot of people who play volleyball yeah. here on a warm day? Yes. Uh, uh, yes. I said, Jeff, this pier looks kind of new. How is it new or is it old? Oh, I don't, I don't think it's new. I think it's uh, at least a hundred years old, which is a little younger than the Manhattan Beach Pier, which is like a hundred and four years. All right, yeah. quite quite a vintage. Yeah. So maybe uh, bottled it. Right it here, I see yeah. there's an interesting statue. What is this? What is this, this statue? This is the of? Tim Kelly Lifeguard Memorial statue. This is the picture that everybody wants to take when they come to Hermosa Beach, either of the statue or doing a selfie in front of it. It's just very iconic. Hermosa is known for their surfing and the AVP, which they have here, as well as Manhattan Beach, and just the whole vibe of. So, uh, you know, doing stuff on the sand. All right, well here, screenshot. There we go, there's our photo. All right, let's keep going down to the Pier Plaza. I'll see there's a big American flag right up there. Yeah. Restrooms back here, if people want to use them. Plenty. All right. And also, two blocks up there. So they have plenty, and there's their seal. The town is from 1907, so the pier actually predate the city of Hermosa Beach. <laughs> Tell me about the boardwalk here. Wow, what do you do on this thing? Here I, I is you walk and get some meat. Uh, just have a good time. So the, first of all, right where, now, where, this, does, where does this, this go? Is, this is the strand. Okay. Strand. The, the strand. That's what you call this thing. This is the strand. This strand goes uh, from Playa, uh, where is it? Goes from El Porto in Manhattan. It, it actually goes from Pacific Palisades, but from this Yeah, section, from Malibu, right? Yeah. You well, can ride, you can ride or walk from You can ride Malibu your bike from Pacific Palisades from Pit Pacific Palisades to Torrance, 13 miles. Yeah. Uh, and the paved walkway is gorgeous, it's fun, and it's actually not that crowded even on a hot summer day. I see some blinking lights that say walk zone only. Yeah, for, that's for cyclists. Yeah, so you have to- Unfortunately, the cyclists totally ignore that. Yeah. And they go flying through. So be careful when you're in a place like this and the Manhattan Beach Pier, because they will mow you down. Um, okay, but, this is this the Irish restaurant you're telling me about? I, oh, yeah. the Irish pub. Yeah, well, it's a restaurant too. Hennessy's is the anchor, and uh, if you're you, if you've got great weather, go upstairs because they've got a third third story deck, the second story deck. Uh, I think it's the second story deck. Uh, it's a great view up there, uh, and then the food is really good. And uh, if you don't like that, then they have Brazilian next door, and they've got a fish place over here, Playa Hermosa and another fish restaurant over here. It's a bunch of gift shops. And then the Lighthouse Cafe. This is where our heroes in La La Land went to hear some jazz. And uh, it was prominently displayed in La La Land. Uh, this is also a very old restaurant, probably the oldest restaurant here. Which one? Uh, the Lighthouse Cafe. This brick one? Yeah. Uh, the hostel, believe it or not. Oh, there's a hostel right here. The Surf City Hostel. Which would be really loud. Is, I bet it would. Yeah. Uh, is, is Hermosa Beach Surf City? Because I often think of Huntington Beach as Surf Huntington City. Huntington Beach and Santa Cruz are both uh, Surf uh, City. Uh -huh. right. But that's the Surf City Hostel right. in Hermosa Beach. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, there's a little tiny juice bar here. Right. This feels like something you'd see in Europe or Japan where like the shop is like, 10 yeah. feet wide. Once upon a time, it was a pizza parlor. Okay. Uh, Bonaparte Bistro is new, and it is the cousin of the Bonaparte restaurant and cafe over there. Uh, believe it, is that it, a two-story restaurant, or is there one down here? And a uh, one the, two, there? the Tower 12 is another restaurant. Uh, cafe Bonaparte is one of my favorite restaurants here. It's great for, for breakfast. Baked Bear has ice, ice cream, cream sandwiches. sandwiches. Treasure Chest. Has you two glass, two sunglasses for ten dollars. <laughs> Good deal. So, so if you forgot your sunglasses, if, that's if you what. Yeah. Them, two, two sunglasses. The, the, like Elvis and Marilyn Monroe that's on the. Right. Okay. And uh, a lot of T-shirts and stuff. Very uh, affordable gift shop in a expensive area. This the other Irish pub. That's the other Irish pub. Patrick Malloy's. Um, this is Baja Sharkies. Whenever I've been this. down here, I I see this place is very lively often at like. Drinking hours. Drinking and sports. Yes. And it's also a massive pickup place. Okay. And they also have one in Newport Beach and in Manhattan It's Beach. the one I probably see more in Newport yeah. Beach. Yeah. American Junkie is burgers and fries. Uh, very, very popular. Also very sports related. Uh, two surf shops and the Brews Hall, which is a craft brewery. And then somehow, somehow, 
Robert Slicker has stayed open all these years. <laughs> His old school liquor yeah. store. So this was this is probably here when it was a street, right? right. Like right. I mean, years and years and years. Yeah. The what, Bank of America. This is a classic, classic Bank of America. This, just this, closed. Well, it used to be a Bank of America. Yeah, it just closed. Yeah. But the building is a hundred years old. Um, and then a city bank on the corner, and then if you still need a ranking, we have a chase right up the grade. There's an interesting looking clock here. Oh, uh, yeah, I can't tell you anything about it, but it's. Let's uh, look at the plaque and see what the plaque okay. says. Okay. This is a guy who knows how to make travel videos. <laughs> yeah. The plaque says there's a time capsule here. From the Kiwanis Club. On the city's 200th birthday. How can it be 200? Uh, the, part, the city is only 100 years old. Centennial clock. All right. Here, let's cross this street over this yeah. side. This looks like to be the... This uh, is a great multiple multiple crosswalk. You can go in, in uh, different directions. The Hermosa Beach oh, Scramble. This would be great for a uh, drone shot of uh, the HP side, right? Creamy Boys is new. I haven't seen them before. So New Zealand... Which way should we go? This way or that way? Um, if you go down this way... I okay, let's go this way. Zane's is a popular Italian restaurant. Um, New Zealand ice cream which I'm sure in all your travels, you've never heard of New Zealand ice cream. You've heard of other places that are famous for their ice cream. And I went to New Zealand and nobody talked to me about ice cream. <laughs> okay, there. good. Yeah. Well, I love those sorts of things. Have you yeah. had this? Uh, yeah, I did. Is it good? Uh, it was fine. Okay, let's see, let's see what they have here. They have the Hokey Pokey, a uniquely New Zealand flavor, crunchy honeycomb toffee, blended through vanilla ice cream and sprinkled on top. You know- That what sounds good. It, it reminds me of at the uh, L.A. Fair or the Orange County Fair. There's a place that sells Australian battered potatoes. Mm. And a very few people from Australia know about these potatoes. By the way, the pizza here is really good. <laughs> at, and uh, my, the pizza at Paisano's. Paisano's. And my, my feeling about Italian restaurants is if you can give me a red and white uh, che uh, checkerboard tablecloth, I'm in. All right. I know it'll be great. Do you like the square pizza or the... I, I like it all. Round pizza. I like all it all. Pizza. I like all right. it. I'll yeah. have to come back and uh, try that pizza. So, uh, grilled cheese, pizza, uh, you tell me. <laughs> I see coffee, pokey, and boba. Yeah, not, not familiar, it's new. And... It looks very nice, very trendy. And then another coffee shop. Next to a, a nail massage. salon. Massage. But uh, we're, we're, we're coming up to a famous place, so you're going to like this. On this side of the street or that side, side of the street? street? All right. At the very end. Over there, I see a Guisados. Yeah, which, breakfast burritos. And uh, tacos of, like, stewed meats. So they have this, like, taco platter where you can get, like, 10 different types of tacos. You've been there? I have been there. And their location in downtown L.A. Oh, I've not okay. been to this Hermosa location. Yeah, the Mama D's there not that long ago. Mom, oh, that used to be Mama D's? Yeah. And they closed? Yeah. There's also Mama D's in Newport Beach, which oh, has really? okay. been rated. It was on like Yelp's top 100 list for pizza or something like that. Oh, that's weird. Which which makes me wonder about Yelp's top 100 list sometimes. Right. So you put your champ trust it. Yes. This gelato is pretty good. I've had it. Capri, coffee yeah. and gelato bar. Okay, we're getting there. This is the Comedy and Magic Club. This is where Jay Leno plays every Sunday night. Oh, right here. Yeah, right here. He's been doing it for e eons. Oh, here's his picture. Yeah. Jay Leno. Yeah. Wow. Who would have knew? Yeah. Now I, mean, I guess you would know. Now That's it's why I'm here Sundays. with you, Jeff. It's now it's Celeb Sundays, but all during the Kevin tonight, Nealon. All during the uh, Tonight Show. Your are always there. But I guess I can't go in because they say you can't record anything. Well, there's nothing going on right now. Anyway. <laughs> right. They're closed. Uh, but the dinners are good. And, uh... Well, you yeah. know what, Jeff? I'm, uh, getting a little hungry. Are you getting hungry? Uh, what were you thinking? Lurch? No, I'm oh, getting oh, hungry you're for thinking lunch. lunch. Yeah. So you're getting a little hungry, did yeah. you say? Yeah, I am. I know a great place to go to. It's called Good Stuff. It's called Good... It was... It's I think right I saw it from the pier. It's right this way. Well, cross the street with me. I'll, okay. I'll take well, you there. We're going to cross the street, and we're not going to die noticing in the process. Little bungalows. Do you see those? Yeah, I see. Here, we'll turn the camera around so you can see what we see again. Yeah. There's this, like, white bungalow... These are generally called like craftsman style homes, yeah. uh, where it's all like wood and they're on foundations. Yeah, they're only like a hundred thousand dollars a piece. So you could live on the beach. Yeah, when they were new, they were a hundred thousand dollars a yeah. piece, and now they're like a well, the million dollar home. Yeah, I yeah. I I would venture more. Uh, yeah, I just said million dollars. Millions, home. millions of dollars. Yeah, million dollar homes. home. Yeah. But this one that's like Jeff's really big in the photos, so you yeah, can see yeah, him yeah, taking yeah. photos right there. 
Ah. As you would? Yeah. It's called photo walking. Oh. This house has a whole bunch of uh, like pots on it, pots and plants. Yeah. This craftsman has like a double door. Like they call those like Dutch doors, the one that opens on the top and the bottom. I called them something and somebody commented on my Babel Island video where they have all of those and oh, okay. told me the proper name. A little picnic table in front. Like I like the like cute, quaint yeah. vibe of a lot of these places. Yeah, it's a really great place. And there's the Sea Sprite Hotel. The sea Sprite one coming of up on the two back. choices that apparently are they're doing some major work to. Uh, it used to be very affordable, and now they're going up, 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 up scale. Such. Yeah. As 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 tends to be the trend in most of California. Yeah. Uh, Things that used to be affordable are now very expensive. That's what I found about Oceanside. They still have the remnants of the old, but they're really they're pushing hard to new, right? Yes. Jeff was recently doing some episodes down in San Diego County, in Oceanside, and in Carlsbad. You're right. And yeah. yes, Oceanside has like really renovated their pierfront district. Uh, well, fancy hotels. Fancy hotels, yeah. indeed. Yeah. All right, so we are back here on the so Strand. My favorite restaurant in the area is called Good Stuff, and it's two blocks from here. You could tell they're doing a little reimagining here. It'll be a new luxury experience. Oh dear. I like it when it wasn't luxury. <laughs> well, you know what? The like the renovated motels that become luxury are yeah. the ones where like they increase the price about three hundred percent. Right, right. And only marginally put a new paint job on it. That's what I find. Kid. So I would prefer the cheaper price. Yeah, definitely. Yes. But apparently you can still check in. So says this uh, sign. Somehow. Hotel check-in. You can see, Lobby. Well, they also have... Oh, they have this, this building, this too. Also, oh, okay. You could also get, like... Um, yeah, yeah, this looks newly renovated. I don't think so. <laughs> uh, Scotty's on the Strand is also not bad. A lot of people really like it. Uh, again, the view is to die for. Uh, look out the window at the beach. This, we, is, this, this is funny, right here. Yeah. Yeah. I also find it funny walking around here, the HB logo, Hermosa Beach, right. and Surf City USA, Huntington, Huntington Beach. Beach. Yeah. This center, they, uh, Scotty's, their sign says they have the best fish and chips. That I couldn't tell you. <laughs> but I do know that uh, it's got a great view. I always love places that advertise they have the best of anything. Right. Because then you're like, well, it's the best fish and chips <clears throat> within a 10-foot range of this sign. The best fish and <laughs> chips within those doors. <laughs> that's right. That's right. They also, on Mondays, have all-you-can-eat spaghetti. Right. Have uh, you ever had the all-you-can-eat spaghetti? No. No. We might have to do a mukbang there. I, I had the grilled cheese. And how was the grilled cheese? It was good. Good. It's really hard not to be great. Oh, there's an interesting mural back over there. Yes. Um, so, oh, it's kind of ruined right now. There's two murals to show you. Let's go have lunch, and then we'll look at the murals. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we just walked about three minutes from where we were. It's getting really windy. Jeff, uh, tell me about this restaurant right here we're going to eat at. All righty. Well, uh, this is my favorite restaurant in all of the South Bay. It's called Good Stuff. It's been in business for over 40 years. They specialize in healthy, really great tasting food in a casual, beachy atmosphere. Let's have some lunch there. Yeah, let's get out of the wind. Okay. All right, we got a table inside now with some amazing views of the ocean. Jeff, what do you got there? I have the Chris's Ole Chicken Caesar Salad. It's, it's blackened chicken with some uh, tortilla chips. I skipped the dressing because I'm not a dressing fan. I love lemons. Uh, this is one of my favorite things at Gift Stuff, and there are many favorite things here at Gift Stuff. Uh, I also like Chris's breakfast salad, which is a salad with eggs on top of it. Unusual, but tastes really good. Pretty much everything at Good Stuff is great. I'm not a shill for the restaurant, but it's one of my favorite restaurants. And this is the place that anybody comes out of now, I will always bring them here. Because look at this view. They're usually amazed. And on a warm day, we're sitting outside and we are in heaven. Um, Chris, what's it like? Did you make? So I've got the Bay Burger right here. And the Bay Burger, it's a big, juicy burger with an egg on top and avocado and uh, sweet potato fries because they recommended the sweet potato fries. This thing looks really good. 
the view is good. You know what? Let's give this burger a go. Good to know what we can have ice open fans. Good fellow thunders. Come back. Thank you. It looks certainly good. What it also has in there that I didn't show you earlier, bacon and hash browns. So it's like totally a breakfast burger. I like burgers. Yeah. And I'm really happy with this place. Do we know why they call them Bay Burgers? I don't know why we call it a Bay Burger. Okay. Yeah, but it's like B-A-E, that kind right. of Bay. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I think for the beach, the prices aren't cheap, but I think they're reasonable. Something like $17 for the burger. So look where we are. To see that ocean view again. All right, so that was a really good burger. Great recommendation, Jeff. On our way to the murals just outside the restaurant, there's a bike shop, and it has free self-serve air. The world's greatest bike shop. The world's greatest. The world's greatest bike shop. This is where everybody in Hermosa comes to rent bikes. And for those of us who don't live in Hermosa and don't need to rent a bike, air. It's, uh, you know, you can't go to a gas station and get free air anymore. They've got free air. This is where I always come to air up. And then when it, when it comes to repairs, they're just really, really economical and they do stuff very quickly. So I, I say the world's greatest bike store because they're so nice. I, uh, I have rented bikes from here before, and so I can confirm this is a great place to rent a bike and then ride all the way up to Malibu if you're so inclined. Uh, also, just right next, I mean, if you're so inclined, if you yeah. want to ride a long way. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> but just next to that Hermosa Cyclery. Oh, there's another mural over here. Yeah, we have a lot of murals. Okay. There's one over here. That's a cool one. Yeah. All right, let's go that check this one cool. out. And then there's this one here. There's a big parking structure next to that Hermosa Cyclery. So right. if you're coming down here and struggling to find a place to park, uh, I often find that you got uh, the history of Hermosa. Notice to bathers, this is your beach. Clean it up. Trunks only and rolled down suits prohibited. All right. All right. So here we are back at that mural. Jeff, tell us about this mural. Uh, I don't know that Linda Ronstadt ever performed in Hermosa Beach, but I would assume that's Linda Ronstadt. I don't know who's typing there, but it's showing you the music and literary uh, traditions of Hermosa Beach. And I want to show you one more thing. Okay. Come with me. All right. We talked about La La Land. And this is the back of the Lighthouse Cafe right here. It may be familiar to you. You may have seen it in the movie. The famous Lighthouse Cafe, home of jazz brunches and other good things. Very cool. All right. Well, Jeff, thanks for showing us around today. Fellow explorers, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more of Jeff Graham's great videos, I'll put a link to his Photo Walks TV channel down below. And uh, as usual, I won't say goodbye because we'll see you in the next video.